Vasily Grigorovich Zaitsev, the most deadly man in Stalingrad. He came from humble roots. Born on March 23, 1915, to a poor peasant family in Valininsko, in the Ural Mountains, from a young age, he learned how to track and hunt animals from his grandfather and brother, honing the skills he would need to become a great sniper. At just 12 years old, he was gifted a single-shot Burden rifle. The cartridges for the Burden were very sparse at the time, meaning Vasily early on learned to make every shot count. His first kill, a wolf, which he bought home as a trophy, was a show of his marksmanship at early age, and he also had 20-20 vision and keen hearing, a perfect specimen for a great sniper. By age 15, Vasily had graduated from Magnitogorsk Construction College as a specialist fitter, and he had also studied accounting, as Vasily was not only brawn, but also brains. At age 22, Vasily joined the Russian Navy, where he worked at first as a clerk in the artillery department, and after finishing military school, he became head of the finance department in Transfiguration Bay. Then a grim day for the Soviet Union dawned. Germany had launched Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of Russia. Vasily immediately, like many of his comrades, volunteered to fight on the front lines. The army refused him five times until summer 1942, where he was finally allowed to transfer from the Navy, where he was a chief petty officer, and he was made to a senior warrant officer once he entered army service. He was placed in the 1047th Rifle Regiment of the 284th Tomsk Rifle Division, which was attached to the 62nd Army at Stalingrad in 1942. On September 22, 1942, Vasily and many other recruits crossed the Volga at night into Stalingrad to defend the city. Vasily began his time in the 284th as a rifleman with some senior responsibilities, but soon he proved his combat prowess. For starters, he got into a brutal close-quarter combat fight with the German soldiers, resulting in a bayonet wound, and refused to leave the front line as he wished to carry on fighting the invader. Next, he killed a man from 800 metres away with a simple Mosim Nagant with just an iron sight. A truly impressive feat, and within his first month deployed on the front lines, he had killed 32 men, and for this he was awarded the Medal of Bravery, and a promotion into the Sniper Division, and was awarded a Mosin Nagant with a PU-4 magnification optic, and Vasily would use the same rifle for the rest of the war, with only one slight adjustment being made to it. Vasily continued to wreak havoc on the German forces, and quickly caught the attention of German High Command, as they realised the negative effect he was having on morale, and how he was being pushed heavily by Soviet propaganda. So it was decided he must be eliminated immediately. This task fell to Major Erwin Koenig, Koenig most likely being a call sign, an elite German sniper who was rumoured to also have been an integral part of the elite German sniper school. So the board was set, and history's greatest sniper duel began. The winner would become a legend for all time, and the loser a corpse. Vasily, now tasked by Soviet command to defeat the man who was hunting him, attempted to locate Major Koenig. It was difficult with heavy sniper activity from both Russians and Germans in Stalingrad. It was a needle in a haystack situation, but eventually a report piqued his interest. A sniper, Mozarov, got his optical sight broken by the enemy, and a soldier, Shakin, was wounded. Mozarov and Shakin were considered experienced snipers that often came out as winners in difficult fights with enemy snipers. There was no doubt that they faced a fascist super sniper, the one Vasily had been looking for. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Vasily and his partner Nikolai Kulikov, another ferocious sniper, moved to the location where their fellow snipers had been bested, and their plan began to form. Vasily began to survey the terrain. Every hill, brick, and shattered window was focused on, but what drew his attention was a sheet of metal next to a pile of bricks, the most likely location of Koenig, but he had to be careful, firstly not to expose himself and to be killed, but also not to scare him off. Vasily was located in a pit, and Nikolai was in another, with a communication wire strain between them. Once in position, the wait began, and a whole day rolled by, and as time slowed to a trickle, bombs burst overhead, gunfires rang out in the distance, but no sniper moved, not an inch. As night fell, Vasily and co. moved back into cover. They were then returned before the sun arose, ready to hunt again. The second day began, and Vasily and Nikolai repositioned and watched in anticipation. As the day dragged on, Vasily gave a signal. For Nikolai to raise a mitten attached to a tablet, a smart trap to lure Koenig to shoot. As the mitten rose, both snipers were ready, but no shot followed. Koenig was not so easily baited. An hour later, Vasily signalled again, and the mitten rose, but then BANG! Koenig had taken the bait, and Vasily knew exactly where he was. All he had to do was wait 
to get sights on Koenig and he could finish this fight. Carefully, Vasily and Nikolai repositioned and they observed Koenig's position all night and half into next day. As the sun was blazing, lighting up Koenig's position, Vasily signa signalled Nikolai, who had rigged up a helmet and began to raise it. And bang, another shot rang out, putting a hole straight through the helmet. Koenig, believing this was a kill, but he was in for a big surprise. Koenig, thinking he had won the duel and defeated another Russian sniper, began to peer around the metal sheet where he was located. And then his head rose, centred perfectly in Vasily's sights, and the trigger was pulled. Vasily shot Koenig straight through the head, and history's greatest sniper duel came to a close. Vasily Grigorov's Zaitsev had won, and every Russian from east to west would be chanting his name once the news had spread. After defeating Major Koenig, Vasily was highly praised, but the battle for Stalingrad still raged on, and his next assignment was to begin. In January 1943, Vasily was to lead 13 other snipers to stop a German attack, where he practiced his new group hunting tactic, which would become no known as the Sixers, a sniping tactic still practiced today by Russian Federation military forces. He led his men valiantly, and as fighting raged on, Vasily went into close combat with the German troops, where he was targeted by mortars and was severely injured in one of his eyes. Luckily for Vasily, a skilled optical surgeon was able to operate and treat him, and he was able to regain his vision, and on February 10th, 1943, he regained his sight, and Vasily immediately returned to the front. Later in the war, Vasily would also take part in battles in Donbass, the Dnieper, Odessa, and the Silo Heights, using his legendary marksmanship skills to lead his men to victory. Vasily's success during the war earned him great praise and honour. He was awarded the title of Hero of the Soviet Union, the Order of Lenin, and the Gold Star Medal for his actions. His total kill count numbers between 250 and 300, with no exact known numbers. But it is said, in Stalingrad alone, he killed at least 225 enemy soldiers, with 11 of them being enemy snipers. And with his fellow comrade snipers, a total of 6,000 Germans were killed by sniper actions in Stalingrad. Also, before the war ended, Vasily published two books about sniping to help his comrades improve their skills. After the war, Vasily retired to Kiev. He actually spent two years in the detention center from 1951 to 1953, where the government suspected him of espionage, the popular communist paranoia once again punishing some of its greatest heroes. And after the party released him, Zaitsev returned to Kiev and worked as a director of a textile factory. He died on the 15th of December 1991, just 11 days before the Soviet Union dissolved, and he was buried in Kiev, but always wished to be buried at Stalingrad. And on January 31st, 2006, his remains were moved to Stalingrad, now known as Volgograd, the place with which Vasily had become a legend and punished the German invader for every step they took on Russian soil. Vasily's story is a true testament to how much a single man in the right place can make a world of difference, and he is a true warrior of war, and one of history's greatest snipers, whose legend will continue down the ages. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something along the way. And if you did, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you for watching everyone and have a fantastic day.